Keon Henderson Church got heavily damaged during the hurricane. I'm glad about it. As long as nobody got injured or hurt. But as far as the building, the churches, I wish a lot of these churches would get de destroyed demolished for the sake of the people. I say it again. I'm glad about it. A lot of these churches ain't churches. Not churches of Christ. They need to be destroyed. Yeah, they got insurance. They're going to repair. They're going to rebuild. They're going to do this. But still, I wish that a lot of them in this country would be destroyed. Not when being occupied, though. What, did they, what do they, what come out of these churches? What are running these churches? What come out of these churches? What are they doing in these churches? They're not focused on feeding, helping people. They're not focused on giving people the truth of the Bible. They are focused on whatever will put money in their pockets. They are focused on doing whatever for popularity, fame, and fortune. That's what these churches are all about. It's all about making merchandise of their members. Every time you turn around, they're trying to do something to make more money off their members. We're going to have a conference. We're going to have this. We're going to do this. We're going to... You come to church every Sunday. Give your tithes. Give your offering. Every week. Bringing in the money. Every time you turn around, there's always something to put money in their pockets. All the money that these churches bring in should go back into helping the poor. Church is not the place for anybody to get rich. Jesus said, y'all have turned my house into a den of thieves. Any place that you set up and say and call it a church and it's dedicated to the Lord, it's a holy place. Now the building itself ain't holy, but anytime you set up a temple or place and say, this is the house of prayer, this is God's house, then it becomes a holy place. But what's running? What's overseeing the holy place? Adulterous pastors, homosexual pastors, bisexual pastors, anything gold pastors. We ain't going to teach the truth in here, pastors. If they teach the truth and preach the truth and stone the Bible, they numbers going to fall. That's what they're in it for, for the numbers. They run in numbers. T.D. Jake's church needs to fall. I know they got insurance. They're going to rebuild and people going to support no matter what. But still, I wish a lot of them would fall. They get damaged, heavily damaged. The den of thieves. 
all they do is thinking about think about making money. Sarah J. Roberts, all of them, money, 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 money. Satanic ceremonies, satanic rituals take place in these churches very often now. Almost every time you look down at T.D. T. D. Jake's church, some type of ritual or ceremony is taking place. It's coming more and more commonly now. Sir Jake's is going to lead many, many, many to hell. Ain't nothing hidden. These Masons and these sororities and all these people are of the devil. Them temples is nothing but Masonic temples, Satanic temples. It may look like church. But it's not church. It's the devil churches. It might be church, but it's the devil churches. Ain't nothing hidden. The, war, the people that have, they go to this stuff and continue for y'all just blind. You you have been blind. These people live in all sorts of ways, and y'all are uh, caught up in their foolishness. T.D. Jakes ain't never stood for truth. Keon Henderson, they don't never preach the Bible. You don't hear the Bible being preached out of these churches, especially black major mega churches. It don't matter if Keon founded that church. He still is not a man of God. For the right amount of money, T.D. Jakes will confirm anything as a leader. For the right amount of money, T.D. Jakes will stand behind anybody as a leader. The man is gone. Satanic. I called him a few months ago talking about blood rituals, blood covenants, dressed in all black. I think everybody had all black on that day. Don't y'all see this stuff? The satanic agenda is being pushed. It's out there. It's no wonder why you're seeing a whole lot of Satanic messages being pushed by supposed to be preachers of God. They don't stand on holiness. TDJ's been trying to cover up his per his sexual allergy. Forever, he'd get up there and claim it, but look at the body language. Look at him. They do not stand on the Bible. I wish God would destroy all these temples because they're not churches. All you see coming out of there is everything that's about them and making them money and making them more and more rich. They just using the audience, using their follow money, money, money. 
They ain't gonna invite, they not gonna invite nobody like me to come down there and preach. You can hang it up. <laughs> they definitely ain't gonna invite Jen O. Jennings down there to preach. Although I don't necessarily sit horses with Jen O. Jennings, but he speak a lot of truth. When he ain't butchering the Son of God. There's some good Bible teachers out there, Bible preachers that would not ever get invited to none of these churches. Unless you can go in there and clown like Brian Corns did down at Jamal Bryan Church last week. You go in there and put on a good show, an entertainment show, yeah, you get invited. Some invites. They're glad to bring you along. You 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 can draw a crowd, bring attention. It ain't ain't got a show. But real Bible preachers and Bible believers, you think you're going to stand a chance at any of these churches? You can hang it up. I wish God would come and destroy all these churches from east coast to west coast, north to south, all of them that is nothing but den of thieves in our deceiving people. Cindy Trim, she was lately been down at the Jamal Bryan Church that I'm seeing now. I butcher people's names, so just forgive me. <laughs> I'm good at butchering folks' names. But you know who I'm talking about. Brian, I mean, uh, Jamal Bryan Church, nothing but a circus. I don't see how anybody in that church after the history of Ed alone. I can understand probably giving Jamal Brown a chance, but how long he been down in there? Five or six years? He didn't wait. Within the first year he was doing, he came down now. Ain't no way I'd be sitting up in these churches. Go to a small church. They got their problems too. I mean, but go to a small church that believe in preaching the Bible. Quick going to the to the shows under the big top, the big churches. Y'all see what's going on in these churches. White churches, black churches, especially white black churches though. Clown shows. Satanic Rituals. Y'all been indoctrinated by this stuff. Y'all think this stuff is right. Every time you look at somebody kneeling down at the foot of a sinful man. Blood, covenant, sacrifice. After a while, they're going to start doing blood ceremonies. You can Y'all can expect to start seeing a whole lot of stuff going on in these churches. Beds, sex, blood sacrifices. You can expect to start, start, start seeing this stuff. You're already getting a glimpse of it. Jamal Bryan is up there kissing a woman that he is not married to in the pool pit. That's for perversion. Perversion. Do you put anything past them? Y'all accept this? You're going to accept other stuff. You've been brainwashed. We can imagine this stuff that's going on in their church. Why our service going on by members? I wouldn't doubt it. Orgies and is taking place doing service. Look at the leader. Look at the leadership. They are promoting this stuff. They are promoting this stuff. You're supposed to go to church to get focused on God. Put your mind on God. You're seeing enough of this stuff in the world. You're seeing enough of this stuff day to day. Then you're going to church and getting bombarded for it. The, the flesh want to see this stuff. But the inner man don't and shouldn't. 
That's the purpose of going to church, to get focused on God. Not to get focused on flesh. But that's exactly what they're showing y'all. Flesh. Devil. 